Hey, my name is Tim Davidson and this is Tiffany the Tiny Home. She's 270 square feet located in Sarasota, Florida on a property I call Shellmate Island. Come on in. So this is my kitchen, a uh, big farmhouse sink, uh, which comes in handy. And then we have uh, Tiffany's named after uh, Tiffany and Comfort. Uh, so like stained glass. So these are handmade light fixtures, uh, nice butcher block countertops. Uh, the same butcher block is used throughout the home. Uh, so you'll see that. Uh, utilize a lot of space like the uh, shelves of the windows uh, in order to keep more counter space. Um, and then I have a little small pantry right here that keeps all my dry goods. And then up here, I have all my plates and dishes. Four burner propane stove. Uh, it's an oven and then I have a broiler underneath. Uh, it's nice having gas in here versus electricity. Uh, and then I also have a air fryer, which if you're not on the air fryer game is amazing and a game changer. I have just a simple drawer for silverware and then a nice deep drawer for pots, pans, uh, collapsible containers and a couple more dry goods. Tumbled Italian marble backsplash which replicates uh, in the shower uh, and then utilizing a lot of wall space so um, a magnetic knife holder uh, in order to keep the knives off and have uh, some more counter space. Uh, nice part about this is I have a uh, additional butcher block that goes over the four burners, which I keep up here. And uh, nice part about that is if I'm not using this and just using the air fryer or need prep area, I can just put it over here and it almost doubles my counter space. Fridge wise, nice big fridge. Um, so top is my refrigerator. Um, in the bottom is my freezer. I personally think I have more freezer space than I need, uh, but uh, it's a perfect apartment style fridge. So above the kitchen, I have a twin bed, uh, which these uh, pipes utilize in order to get up to it. It's good for guests, but right now I use it for camping and backpacking, uh, just as extra storage to kind of get it out of the way. Living in a tiny house and minimalizing my lifestyle before, uh, one of the non-negotiable things was camping and backpacking. Uh, one of my favorite things is my hiking stick. So I got this on my first uh, big backpacking trip up to Mont Lacant um, and uh, couple, added a couple pins to it for some parks and hikes that meant a lot to me. Uh, and then above uh, is all my camping and backpacking gear, which was really non-negotiable on cutting things out and um, something that I find joy in, you know, being able to do more living in a tiny house. And then my dining room table, it's a leaflet table. So cool part about this is when it's not in use, I can fold it down, gives me a little bit extra room. Uh, so I just have some more space. And then this is the chair that is used for the dining room table, but also it's a foot ottoman for the couch. So nice part is that it fits right flush with here. So if you want to lay down and watch some TV uh, and when it's not in use, the legs fold up uh, and slips right underneath, kind of like how that other one's down there as well. So it kind of gets it out of the way. We got a mini split unit. So this does my AC and my heat uh, for the whole house. Nice part about it is um, the whole house is spray foam insulation, including the floor. So kind of like what I consider a Yeti cooler of some caliber. So this will keep it cold and hot real fast. And then uh, throughout the day, the insulation helps with keeping the temperature the same. So we lived in a campground uh, in Palmetto for about three years and traveled with Tiffany from different festivals and things like that. Um, just kind, kind of showing people the lifestyle and how it's really more realistic than people think. And um, from there, uh, I bought Shellmate Island uh, about two years ago. So it's an acre and a half located in South Sarasota. 
and um, ended up moving Tiffany here and building a second tiny house and um, is really starting a new chapter and super exciting. So this is the bookcase. I really enjoy this because it kind of allows me to have my books and little knickknacks and things that I collect. Uh, the island, we have a bird sanctuary, so we have tons of birds that uh, come over here. So I get to like collect feathers and just kind of uh, nice being able to put mail. Uh, nice three, three drawers in the bookcase. The top drawer is my junk drawer, and then the two bottom drawers are just for just oddball storage. So throughout the home, the rails have a chevron symbol. Uh, so you'll see it in the stair rails as well as the loft and then the guest loft. The chevron symbol is also replicated in the light fixtures uh, throughout the home. So you'll kind of see that craftsman style um, kind of consistency throughout the home. So the cool part about the stairs is the stairs utilize um, kind of like five different things. Uh, one of them being my closet. So it's a walk on closet instead of a walk in closet. And the, the three stairs uh, is where all my clothes go. And I have Oliver's litter box in here. So it's a little cat door that he hops in. And then you can check out the inside. He has like a little grass area and where he does his business. And then I have a instant uh, hot water heater underneath that. Uh, that gives me, you know, hot water for showers and whatnot. This area is nice because I can do laundry. So this is, or fold laundry here. This is a washer dryer combo. Uh, which is super convenient. I press play, I go about my day, it washes, it dries it all in the same cycle. And then I come home and it's all done, ready for me to fold. Some more storage up here. Um, just some oddball things like pots and um, glassware and whatnot. So the bathroom's closed off by a pocket door. Uh, so I have custom stained glass, which this door is replicated my front door as well. Uh, so it's kind of nice having the uh, complimentary two doors throughout the home as well as uh, the stained glass uh, throughout the home. So this is the bathroom. Um, super spacious for a bathroom, I think. Uh, we have a corner vanity sink uh, over here and then I utilize the stairs for a cubby hole. Uh, Italian tumbled marble for uh, the shower and then uh, the shower also has a tub. So this is a old telephone pole that's cut into blocks, glued in a polyurethane. Um, so if you want to take a bath, you can. It's designed after a Japanese soak style tub. So it's just a nice little relaxing bathtub. A uh, cool part also is that it's removable. So I could take this and put it over my compost toilet uh, and utilize the whole shower in itself. I do have a compost toilet uh, by Naturehead. We originally had uh, a flush toilet and then we converted it back to a compost toilet so the house is plumbed for flush uh, but right now I'm trying the compost situation out and it's going well and then lots of storage so uh, big open um, tall cabinetry uh, for like suitcases or suits and things like that so this is the master loft it's a queen bed uh, and I have plenty of headroom uh, so this ceiling is a round barrel ceiling. Uh, if you look on the outside of Tiffany, it's actually a pointed structure. So uh, it being barreled, I lose some uh, space above my head, but it's an optical illusion to make the house feel larger than w what it is. Um, behind the bed is all cabinetry. So this is all storage. I keep, uh, um, you know, extra sheets or blankets and things like that behind there. Um, and then I have my projector. So uh, I don't have a TV up here. Uh, so I have a projector screen that goes in front of the bed and then that projects out so I can watch Netflix or whatever. Um, lots of light up here. So there's 17 windows throughout Tiffany. And Oliver likes to hang out up here and kind of look around the island and look at the birds and turtles and things like that. Living tiny, uh, there's a lot of nomadic people that live on the road and things like that, but uh, I think tiny living can uh, appeal to more of the broader category of people. So everybody has a nine to five. I have a nine to five. Um, my nine to five is in lighting. I'm a wholesale lighting rep. Tiny living, you don't have to be nomadic. Like 
there's so many people that are not nomadic and I think the dirty secret is a lot of people buy tiny houses but they actually don't move them. Um, so that's what I do for a living. It's my typical nine to five and then the rental helps as supplemented income. So my house being on wheels does need a license plate. So I was able to snag T-H-O-W, which stands for tiny house on wheels, uh, which is kind of cool seeing that down the road. Yeah, I think it's a cool little thing. So walking into Tiffany, we have st our stairs and then a nice little patio area. Uh, we got some bananas from the island as well as some white pineapples I just imported from Hawaii. On this side, we Tiffany sits on a triple axle trailer, so she weighs 15,000 pounds. A triple axle trailer meaning three axles, uh, so that helps with maneuvering her down the road and transportation. Hooking her up, she's a 50 amp circuit, uh, so it plugs right in, uh, plugs into an RV 50 amp circuit plug. I get my water from a garden hose, uh, just from a spigot now, and then I'm in the process of, of collecting and harvesting rainwater in order to filter it for that. A couple outlets on the outside. I do have her sitting on blocks as well as uh, uh, four foot anchors for hurricanes and, and stainless steel straps for that. And on this side, uh, this is where you would hook her up to a truck. Um, and then I have my two propane tanks, my uh, 50 amp circuit breakers, and then the other half of the mini split unit. So this unit basically sucks the air in, and then I have the second half of the unit inside to cool the house down. So this is the second tiny house on Shellmade Island. Uh, I it designed this to be more of a rental. Um, it being an octagon and the roof structure itself, uh, it helps with hurricane resistance. So in the last 50 years, this design has gone through all major category five hurricanes with a 99% success rate. Uh, so arguably it could be the strongest tiny house ever built. And uh, you can get more info at shellmateisland.com. So when I originally bought the property, this was a old RV slash boat port. So what they used this for uh, was to store an RV or a boat to keep it out of the Florida sun or rain or, or whatnot. Uh, live in tiny outdoor space is uh, vital so I had the idea of adding uh, fixing it up adding a couple poles and then screening it in um, so uh, all the netting you see is a no CM netting so it's the finest netting you can get that is also breathable it's a nice hangout area for giant Jenga we have life-size beer pong uh, a couple chairs, some, some hammocks, lots of fans and lights, and uh, it's just nice being able to have a space outdoor at night without mosquitoes, and uh, it really, you know, doubles my living space if you consider this as an uh, entertainment area. Tiffany's paid off now, uh, which puts $12,000 back into my pocket every year if I keep my lifestyle the exact same, uh, and then the rental uh, pays for um, anything else with my lifestyle so the mortgage the utilities uh, so after you know a two-year process and three years of living tiny um, now my living expenses are completely out uh, which is a huge financial benefit of tiny living and uh, probably one of the main factors why I got into it you're definitely going to come into roadblocks whether it's regulations money uh, finding the right house location um, but uh, you got to just keep chugging and where there's a will there's a way you just gotta keep chugging along.